everyone, it's your boy Mark and Mark. I'm here with Kayla from CB24. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. How are you? I'm good. Tell us about you know the experience here with the Raptor Jurassic Park. What is different between Jurassic Park from watching it at home, from watching it on the television, and watching it in an arena? Oh man, it's hard to describe just the actual feeling of Jurassic Park. You have to be here in person to truly experience it. Um, but to see the evolution of Jurassic Park over the years to where it's gone now, to the point where you have fans that travel all across Canada, North America, even as far as the Philippines that come here to experience it. And all it all stemmed from an overflow of fans wanting to support the Raptors and may or may not have been able to afford tickets. And so they started cheering outside and to see it grow and blossom into what it is now, it's incredible and it truly represents Toronto. Tell us a little bit about the Raptors. What has gone from all the people in Toronto, I mean, in Canada in general, about the Raptors speaking into the finals? Did you ever think this was ever going to happen throughout our lifetime? You know what? I did. Yeah, I absolutely did. I mean, as a, as a true, true Torontonian and as a Raptors fan, it's great to finally see. Um, but I knew that it was just a matter of time until it was our turn. And I think Masai Ujiri, Bobby Webster, they did some incredible changes, some risky moves, but ultimately they were well worth it. And now we see the fruits of their labor in the NBA Finals. And we're one game away from being crowned NBA champions, which is almost crazy to say, but that's the reality. Tell us a bit about your, um, with, the, with the Raptors in Game 6, what do they have to do to win? Because Game 5 was close, but you know, they could have won the game. But for Game 6, what do you think they need to do to really win the chip? You know, it's going to be tough because obviously they've already won two at Oracle. And so to win three at Oracle against the Golden State Warriors is, isn't going to be easy. But I think it can be done. Um, obviously, we're going to have to expect a great, incredible game from Kawhi Leonard. That's no question. But it's also going to be those X factors. You know, how will Ka Kyle Lowry come out and play? How will Serge Ibaka play in the paint? Um, I think it's going to be a great test for us, but I really do think that we can hold out considering the fact that we still have the lead. I know that it didn't go down as how we expected in game five, but I ultimately think there's no reason why they shouldn't be able to get on the court tonight with confidence. My last question is to all the Raptors found out there, especially to Filipinos that you've seen are really passionate about basketball, what do you want to say to them? Oh man, just keep it up. Keep um, keep supporting it. We the North is true and strong. I know that the Filipino community absolutely loves its basketball from the PBA to the NBA. So keep at it. Uh, Salamat po. And um, yeah, let's get this win. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kayla. What up, everyone? It's your boy, Mark and Mark. I'm here with Teddy. What's up, man? How you doing? How you doing, man? I'm excited. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm excited about Game 6. Tell us a little bit, you know, about Jurassic Park. What has made it lit? What has made it so dope? Yes, honestly, uh, I've been here for, uh, I think, since the Sixers, um, you know, covering the game. It's been nothing but electric, you know, it's bringing everyone together. Uh, everything you've seen online, man, is, is, what, is what it is right here, man. The energy is very positive, and uh, hopefully we take the ship tonight. What do you see about the fans of the Raptors? in Jurassic Park or here lining up. What do you see the difference between our fans and other fans out there in the NBA? Oh, that's a great question, brother. Um, I think for us, first and foremost, like, you can't, you know, it's cliche to say passion, but we really are very passionate. If you see some of our fans, they're dressed up, you know, they're dressed up as dinosaurs. Uh, you know, they come with the signs. Um, just nothing beats it, man. Uh, we really want a title here, and you can tell by, by their passion here. What do you think has been the difference between this team that we have right now that has made it to the finals Boy. compared to the other teams that we yeah, had yeah, so far yeah. ever since we had the Raptors? And you know, honestly, I've been a fan since like Bargnani, Rafa Arujo days, Nesterovic. Um, what can I say that's different? We're resilient, you know what I mean? Uh, even when we're down and you feel like we're out, we still really punch back. Um, so I think that's a big difference. And obviously we have Kawhi, we have other players. We have Mark being, you know, the, the passer that he is. We have some shooters. Resilience is, is the word I'm going to say that we have. And, and you last us to game six. What do you want? What do you think the Raptors need to do to win game six and secure that chip? We just need to want it more. Um, we need to make more shots. Obviously, um, in the last game, they they're, they're a way better shooter. They just they totally lit us up. I think if we come and we we we, we hit them with the first punch, uh, we'll be good and we'll be celebrating, brother. Awesome. My last last question yes. to Filipinos out there that are fans of basketball, the Raptors. What do you say? What do you want to say to them? Filipinos, uh, hey, uh, I'm just waiting for the first Filipino to touch the league. That would be really cool, right? Um, but Filipinos, man, um, we've been, always been passionate about basketball. I'll say that. Uh, but that's all I can say. I hope there's a Filipino in the league soon. Maybe you, bro. Maybe, Maybe you. Maybe it's time for us, you know. Let's play ball and get it going. Yeah? You know, you can guarantee if I'm on the court, I'll give him one charge and one three. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's it. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ted. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you, brother. What up, everyone? It's your boy, Mark and Mark. I'm here with Roberto from the Raptors Jurassic Park. Tell us a little bit, is this your first time being at Jurassic Park? No. Yeah. 
Uh, since uh, 2014, I landed in Canada. I'm um, become a Raptor, Raptors fans. Okay. Ano yung experience mo sa Raptors? Uh, bakit ka nagbabalik sa Jurassic Park multiple times? Ano, bakit? Um, every playoff, nandito talaga ako. No, kahit na regular season lang, pumapasok ako sa loob. And then, uh, pag playoff talaga, since 2014, nandito ako. Dito talaga ako. Ta minsan lang ako mamiss ng uh, Jurassic Park. Ano yung gusto mo sa, sa, sa Raptors in terms of when did you start becoming a fan of them? Ano yung thoughts mo sa kanila? Did you ever think that they're gonna make it this far sa championship? This year, this is gonna be the uh, the champion for for the Raptors team, you know? Uh, matagal na plano yan last year. So hindi sila umabot. Ngayon, may, meron tayong Kawhi Leonard, Gasol, and then uh, talagang kukunin na natin yung uh, championship ngayong gabi. Ngayong gabi. Ngayong gabi. Oh. Tinan, pakita mo yung sign nila kasi ang galing eh. What's your inspiration sa sign mo? Bakit yan ang ginawa mo? Ito, ginawa ko to para mapakita ko sa buong uh, Pilipino, hindi lang dito sa Canada, sa Pilipinas, na ang Raptors, ang Toronto Raptors ay isa sa magaling at ngayong taon na to, ngayong gabi, kukunin namin ang championship. Ano yung touch mo sa Game 6? Anong kailangan gawin ng Raptors to win the game? Number one, defense. Defense, defense. Ano pa? Uh, yung susunod na yung uh, open so Depensa talaga yung kailangan nila. Parang... Last thing. Ano yung, ano, sa, para sa'yo, sabihin mo sa mga kababayan natin sa Pilipinas, sa kababayan natin sa Canada, mga Pilipino, ano gusto mong sabihin sa kanila? Mga kababay kababayan ko sa Canada, uh, alam ko marami kayong uh, inaano na team, no? Golden State Warriors. Nakita nyo na yung, uh, kung nakita nyo na yung picture ko last Game 5 sa NBA Philippines, no? Alam ko yung mga buzzers dyan, pero dito na kayo. Raptors, gonna take this championship tonight, no? Mag-Raptors na kayo. Okay. <laughs> what up everyone, see Boy Mark and Mark here at Jurassic Park. We're here with On Point Drew Ebanks here. Jurassic Park, tell me about the half -time. How did the Raptors do so far? Well, I mean, they did pretty well. I honestly thought Golden State was gonna come out with a blitzkrieg right at the beginning and have maybe a 15-point lead. So I'm actually very, uh, you know, pleasantly surprised that the Raptors are the ones that went after the game first and, you know, threw the first punch. Golden State battled back, but the Raptors did well. Turnovers, they kind of got away from what they wanted to do, and that caused a close game. But they're right where they want to be, man. It's now lockdown time, time to play some defense. T tell me about Lowry's uh, road game performance for now in the half, because he was shooting lights out from the beginning and he continued in the second half. Tell me about your thoughts about his game. Well, Lowry's the guy that is kind of the engine. When he gets it going early and he's aggressive, uh, the team plays well. When he's not aggressive and not confident in his shot, the team struggles. So it's great to see him going to the 10. It's great to see him getting contact. He's not getting the foul calls, but he's doing what he has to do and running the offense. I think they got to watch out for the turnovers in this game, but they are right where they are want to be. Uh, you know, this could be an epic night for the Toronto Raptors. Awesome. To finish the half, what do you think the Raptors need to do to really close it and win the chip? Play D. Play D. Make shots. They got to make shots. They got to get it done on offense. But more than anything, defensively lock down. Limit those second chance opportunities. Awesome. Any last words you want to tell to the fans right there? It's Pinoy crossover, right? All, my, all the fans out there watching these guys, make sure you support them. Basketball is growing. They're doing a great job. Support, follow, Pinoy crossover. It's Drewy Banks on point, on location. Awesome. Thank you so much, Drew. Appreciate it.